So good evening, everyone. This video is on economic systems. So these are some key terms that we must know when we're dealing with economic systems. So economic system is an describes the organization of the country's resources to decide on the basic economic questions. And we would have learned that the basic economic questions are what to produce, how to produce, and for whom to produce it. All right? So we have to decide what we're producing, how we're producing it, and definitely for whom are we producing. All right? So these are some important terms that we must know. I know we did it already, but I'm going to recap. Merit goods. Now, merit goods are products funded by the state because of the potential benefits to society. For example, health care, education, and medicines. All right? Then, of course, we have the merit goods. And we know that the merit goods are those goods that, are, that produce negative externalities, right? Where the social costs are borne by society. So things like gambling, cigarettes, alcohol, right? And then, of course, we have public goods. Public goods are goods provided to the public or society. Now, these are non-excludable in that all members of society stand to benefit from production of these products. So it is the government that provides these goods for the benefit of all citizens. For example, roads, streetlights, defense. And of course, we have free goods, right? And we know that free goods are those goods that we get from nature, air, water, etc. All right? So there are basically four different types of economic systems. And today we're going to look we're going to look at these economic systems in terms of the following categories. So one, we're going to describe each economic system. We're going to talk about what to produce, how to produce, for whom to produce, and of course the motive of each um, economic system. And then we will discuss the advantages and disadvantages of those systems. So one, subsistence economic system. Now, we would have discussed subsistence economic system in the earlies, right? And this type of economic system uses direct production to satisfy needs. And we're talking about the early or traditional economies, all right? So we're talking about the early or traditional economies, or what I would usually say from the caveman days. And this just means that the persons would have provided to satisfy their own needs and wants. Then we have the controlled, planned, or econ um, controlled, command, or planned economic system. And this is where the state or government, right, is in charge of the factors of production. And we know that there are four factors of production, land, labor, capital, and enterprise. So in this economic system, the state or the government decides what to produce, how to produce, and for whom to produce it. In the free market or capitalist or market economy, as would sometimes be referred to, private ownership of the factors of production. So there is private ownership, right? So in other words, the, the factors of production is owned by private individuals, all right? And if you would think back to public and private sector, you would know that the private sector is that part of the economy that is owned and operated by private individuals and businesses. And the public sector is that part of the economy that is owned and operated by the, pub, the government. All right? And then we have the mixed economic system. So in the mixed economic system, there's the existence of both, both the private and public sector. So in the mixed economic system, we have command and the free market operating. So what are some examples of uh, the, the subsistence economic system? Subsistence economic system existed in early um, production, all right, in earlier times. And as I said, in the caveman days, with the bartering system, all right? Command controlled or planned economic system, right? These economic systems, right um a country that has planned or uh controlled right so for one cuba cuba would have operated with the planned 
um, economic system. All right, so Cuba would have operated with the planned economic system. Yeah, and then we have a uh, free market and out of free market, the United States of America. So anytime you think about free market economic system, think United States of America, all right? Um, mixed economy will be all English speaking Caribbean countries, right? So for example, Trinidad and Tobago, we use the mixed economic system, right? Because we have both the, the, the planned and the free market operating in our, um, so in society, right? In our atmosphere. So some other examples of free market, um, um, I know for sure Canada, right? Um, the UK, yeah? Planned, I know China, China is somewhat planned right? China is somewhat planned. Um, for mixed, you have Denmark, France, Finland, right? Just to name a few. All right. All right. So let's talk about what to produce. Who decides what to produce in each of these economic systems? In the subsistence economic system, it is based on the individual and it's based on their needs, right? So it's based on their needs. What do you need? And they provide what they need. Who um, decides what to produce in the, in the control system? The state, the government, on behalf of the citizens. Who decide what to produce in the free market um, system? It is determined by demand and supply which it is decided by the government, by the consumer, sorry, and the businesses produce what the consumers want. Not necessarily what they need, but the businesses produce what the consumers want. All right? And then we have mixed economic system where we would have both, right? We would have both private and public individuals, right? operating or deciding what to produce. So the government decides, okay, what to produce and also private businesses or private individuals also decide what to produce. How to produce? How to produce for subsistence, it is also decided by the individual, right? Usually involves simple methods of production. It is labor intensive, meaning that they use the, the tools, right, that they would have been given. They use the tools to do so. In the command economic system, the state decides how goods are produced. And of course, the factor inputs into the process. So the state decides how to produce. How are they going to produce this, this product? In a free market system, it is decided by the private entrepreneur, all right? And mixed economy, is decided, of course, by both the private sector as well as the state, all right? So I, I hope you all are seeing the pattern. For whom to produce? For the subsistence economy, you're producing for yourself and for your survival. For the, the, the planned economy, you're producing for all citizens and you provide public goods. And remember, public goods are goods that benefit all of society, right? And then we have uh, the, the free market economy at, and it's for persons or businesses who are willing to demand. So of course we're going back to, to demand and supply, right? Um, so persons, as long as they're willing to demand and the businesses are willing to provide, right? For whom to produce, you're producing for customers. For whom to produce for the mixed economy, of course, the public sector provides for all citizens and the private sector would provide for citizens who has the ability, who would have the ability to pay. So for example, um, if, if we are to talk about education or healthcare, in some instances, right, um, healthcare might be free, but a lot of people say, well, you know, they don't get you fast in, in, the, in, the, in the local health system uh, free you know, system, so they will go to private, to a private doctor, all right? 
they have the ability to pay. Not everybody would have the ability to pay so not everybody can access private services. All right? Motive. The motive for the, for the traditional or subsistence economic system is survival. Whereas the motive for the, the planned economic system is to provide for the welfare of citizens. What is the motive of the, of the free market? To make a profit. And the motive of the, the, the mixed economic system, one, the private sector would maximize profits. And two, the public sector provide for the welfare of all citizens. All right? So those are the four economic systems, subsistence or traditional, command, control, or plan, free market or capitalist, and mixed economic system. Now let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of economic systems. One, we're looking at subsistence economy and they utilize mostly natural resources to meet their needs. So they, they plan the land, etc. All right. Then we have the disadvantage. It limited choices are available, right? Limited choices are available because remember when we were talking about bartering and, and I said um, you had to find somebody who wanted what you have and, and had what you wanted, right? When we talk about uh, limited and in, 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 you only had a few things, rice, fish, right? Animals that you would have hunted for, right? Individuals could not produce everything to satisfy their needs. Hunters could not fish. All right, hunters could not have fished. So um, everything, right? They could not produce everything to satisfy their, their needs, okay? Command, controlled, or planned economy. The basic needs of society are met. Provision of public goods, right? So the basic needs of society when we talk about basic needs, we're talking about, um, you, you know, things that you need, absolutely needed for survival, right? Provision of public goods, um, they provide goods that water, education, et cetera, right? Public goods, goods that, that would benefit all. Lack of consumer choice. You don't really have any choice, right? You don't have much choice, so you have to take what you get, literally. You have to take what you get, right? There's no competition to government and it can result in low quality products. So if we take WASA, for example, there's no competition to WASA. So because there's no competition to WASA, there is no force in WASA to provide quality services for, for the citizens. And therefore, hence the reason we have some of the lowest quality um, water, et cetera, right? There's, citizens have no water, the, the water system itself needs revamping, all right, in terms of their collection and their distribution, etc. So when there is no competition to the, to the service, right, that, that the government provides, it can result in low quality products. Free market or capitalist economy, right, greater choice of products, so you have a greater choice of products available to meet consumer demand. Hence the reason, if you look in America, they have several um, phone, telephone providers, data providers, Wi-Fi, whatever, right? Compu competition stimulates the economy and product development. So because there's a lot of competition, it stimulates the economy, all right? Provide the merit goods. When we talk about the merit goods, right, they provide a lot of the goods that has negative um externalities on the on the on, on the economy right on society right the cigarettes etc they produce those they provide those right lack of provision of public goods so when we talk about public goods and we're talking about the lack of provision of it all right we're saying that with the free market right we don't expect them to provide public goods to the citizens they are providing goods that will yield profits for them, which will not necessarily um, satisfy the needs of the customers, but the wants, all right? 
increase inequality between the rich and poor. So in other words, if the rich can um, afford, the poor can't afford, then the poor falls by the wayside, the rich is okay, right? The rich can pay for what they want and get what they want. Then we have mixed economy. The government provides the public goods and the private sector, um, sorry, that the private sector will not provide. So there's somewhat of a balance. The government provides the goods that, the, that all citizens would need and the private sector would provide the wants, all right? So what are, the, what are the disadvantages of that? Government may seek to control the private sector, all right? They may try to tell the private sector, well, you know, you can't do this and you can't do that, right? Government investment can crowd out the private sector investment. So a lot of times the, the investment that the government will put in can drown out the private sector investment, all right? And, and so too, government can pass laws, right? To kind of control the, the, the private sector and, and what they can and cannot do, all right? So that may be a disadvantage. All right, so guys, that's it for economic systems.